MTDCNC are at JWA Tooling today, and I'm joined by Harry. Harry's going to give us a live demo um, illustrating how easy it is to change from a Heimbook Collet to a Heimbook 215 jaw module. Um, Harry, no pressure on you today, my friend. <laughs> well, I shall try my best. Um, so my first tool of operation today is this tool here. This tool is used to remove the collet from the machine as it's in now. Um, this tool is quite unique in that it's the easiest tool I've used for removing collets. Previous collets we've had, like such machines behind us, they're sort of held in with a thread and then a locking bolt in top. And it, it takes a bit of time and it gets gummed up quite easily. This collet system relies on the pressure of the collet expanding on the outside of the holder. Um, so to remove that collet, I have to relieve that compression to pull it out, which I'm going to do now with this tool. So now Harry's changing the collet. Now the collet chuck is a Heimbuck Top Plus 65 Combi Pullback Chuck. Harry, that was very fast. That was very fast, and that's one of the main perks of this system. I mean, you know, just in, I'd say, less than 30 seconds there, I'm able to take a collet out, and I can put another collet in in just a quicker time. Now, the range of the collet chuck goes from 65 mil down to 4 mil collets. So, when you're looking to just do collet work, you can see how fast you can change from collet to collet. What you're doing, going to do now is to actually put on the 215 jaw module. So now, not only can you do collet work, you can do jaw work. So, Harry, could you show our audience how quickly you can put the jaw module yes, into the machine? absolutely. So my first step is to locate this Allen key in here to relieve the locking mechanism. Now, when the locking mechanism is relieved, um, such like that, you can't pull this Allen key out for safety reasons. So it also acts as a nice little handle to help it as well, although I wouldn't advise lifting it for too long with it. So now Harry is actually mounting the 215 jaw module within the machine. The machine is a Doosan Lynx 2100 our why. Um, I was talking to the owner of the company, uh, John, um, prior to doing this interview with Harry and he was telling me that at JWA they do a lot of low volume work um, and a big consideration for them was reducing setup times, um, which obviously the Heimbuck system is achieving. Not only reducing setup times, but also giving them that flexibility um, and that modular element um, to, to the business. Now, there's just a few minor adjustments that Harry's making here to, to mount the collet chuck, but if you're an engineering company and you do change from collet chuck to jaw module, you'll know how long that takes. It can take, you know, hours maybe in some circumstances. This is being done in minutes. So once Harry's actually mounted the jaw module, he's actually going to be running a component. Um, the component is out of plastic in this occasion for the, the purpose of the demo. But here at JWA on the Heimbook, they machine any material, you know, from very soft materials to very hard materials. They've also found another solution for the Heimbook when machining plastics and the collet. Basically, when using a chuck to machine plastic, it, it can create a vortex, a suction, so it's pulling the swarf in. But with the collet chuck, it eliminates that too. So you're not only getting the fast setups, um, but you're also getting lots of other benefits as well. Now, it's, it was as quick as that. So by the looks of it, Harry has now uh, mounted the collet chuck. He'll be um, loading the, the, the billet shortly, and we'll ask Harry, you know, how it's been done and how long it's taken. But we've probably got a timer on this video, so you'll be able to see from the timer how long it's, it, it's taken. So now he's just loading the billet. So again, billet work, collet work, bar fed work. This system now really kind of gives you lots of options, work holding options for your lathe. And off we go. So, the machine is running now, um, so he's just changed from a collet chuck to a jaw module in minutes. Harry, well done, my friend. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, Harry, let's talk about Heimbuck in general. What kind of setup time savings do you get? Well, I mean, 
in our particular use case here, using this JAWS system, the setup times are, are not measured in minutes. They could almost be measured in hours because we have, on these machines behind us, we have two separate systems for our JAWS and for our collets. So not only do I have to change between the two systems and remove all the housing and the innards, I also have to clock everything up true, put it on, rebore the JAWS, because another perk of this system is I can change it between the Heimbrook system we've got on here and the Heimbrook system we've got on there, and it'll still be true. The JAWS will still run true. So what you're saying, you've got interchangeability between machines. Absolutely. And that's another key benefit of it. You know, so I can take these JAWS off this job today, load some fresh JAWS on, put it on that machine, and it'll still run true. And when you say still run true, you're getting repeatability. Absolutely. That's another key benefit of this. We can accurately predict what's going to happen. Uh, the way we program a lot of stuff is we use CAD models. And because of that predictability in terms of the dimensions and stuff between refitting them, we can accurately predict where our datums are going to be, thus saving more machining time. I think the cycle's finished. Here we are. Harry, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much for illustrating and demonstrating how fast you can change over from the collet to the jaw module. It's been a pleasure. Thank well, you very thank much. Thank you very much, Gio.